out and about today, just doing a little hiking. I stopped for a minute to set up my poncho tents, my Russian Bosch Polakas. I'm gonna run through a couple configurations and show you what I come up with. Here's the first one. It's a flying diamond with just a single, single poncho. It's staked in in the back. I've got prussic loops at the top of the ridge line, pulling it tight. And then it's staked right at the front to give it some height. You could close it up and stake it off the ground, but it gives you a little bit longer than six foot going across. So you get a little more space in there than you normally would uh, if you're running like a just a plow point with all three sides connected to the ground. So cool, that's number one. Here you are with configuration number two. Just a simple lean-to. It takes no time at all to set up. I'm just using the corner grommets on the plush palaka. I've got a prusik loop inserted through the loop, and then it's stopped with a tent spike. I've got that on both top corners, and then it's just staked down in the back. This is a very fast setup. So this is a five foot by seven foot grabber space blanket underneath the six by six plush palaka. Just to give you an idea how much space you have underneath this, this is pretty good. You could do three seasons in a shelter like this. There's ample room for one, even two people and gear, all with just a six by six tarp. So here is an example of a two poncho setup. I've got two palakas secured on the same prusik loops with the same tent spikes right on top of the ridge line. The prusik loops pull the, the top of the, the tent tight and it's just staked down on all four corners. It takes, you know, twice as long to set up as a lean-to, and the lean-to takes less than a minute. So this is a really quick, efficient shelter system. Probably best suited for three seasons. You could pile up some, uh, some brush in the back and then have your fire out front, kind of give you three sides if you wanted to, or maybe even put a space blanket across the back but this would be a, a great spring, summer, even early fall setup. And you've got a ton of room under there. You could put two of those space blankets across. That would be 10 by, 10 by seven. So that's a lot of space. And you could get even more just by elevating one of these sides. So for $20, these palakas are a heck of a deal. And if you're in the market for some vintage camping equipment, I suggest checking these out. There is a whole myriad of configurations you can run them through. You can use them for rain wear. It's canvas material, so they're super heavy duty. You can get right up to the fire with them and they're, they're awesome. They're pretty much bomb proof. I've worn the ponchos for rain wear and the brush around here is, it's pretty heavy, it's pretty thick. There's lots and lots of briars and brambles and the poncho just pushed right through it. The thorns weren't sticking to it. It was pretty cool. I've been through several ponchos in the last six months. Uh, rip stop, heavy rubberized, military issues, and they all keep ripping and tearing on me. And these things are these things are built to last. They've been in service for over 70 years, and that should say it all right there. Their longevity is a testament to their effectiveness as a piece of kit. All right, guys. The Plosh Palaka, the Russian poncho tent. I found this on the surplus market for $20 a piece. So for 40 bucks, you've got 
an infinite variety of setup options, different utilities you can use it for. You can use it as a ground cloth. You can pack all your gear in it, carry it as a backpack with straps. It's really, really versatile and it's bomb proof. So if you're interested in checking out the Polish Levu or anything of that sort, you know, check these out. They can be found pretty easily. So hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to post some more as I come across new configurations. Like the options are pretty limitless. So thanks for checking it out. Drop a like and a subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Help me grow the channel. Thanks, guys. Cheers.